Most people don't think about nuclear weapons, and if they do, it's as if it's something far away that could kill us all someday. But the truth is, nuclear weapons are taking lives right now. My family goes back generations in Tularosa, a town just downwind of the Trinity test site where the world's first atomic bomb was detonated back in 1945. My dad was just four years old when they detonated the bomb. Ash from the explosion fell from the sky for days, covering his whole neighborhood. As an adult, he would die from cancer, just like so many others in our community. Growing up, the government did a great job of trying to instill in us that we should be proud of the part we played in the country's defense. Kids would go on elementary school field trips to the White Sands Missile Range, where the Trinity test took place. Families were allowed to picnic there, and people would come home with their pockets full of trinitite, a radioactive mineral formed by the explosion. The government kept testing nuclear weapons all the way until the early 1970s through a program called Project Plowshare. One of their experiments here in New Mexico was to detonate a nuclear bomb buried 4,000 feet underground to see if that might be an effective way to frack for natural gas. Well, when the gas came up to the surface, it was radioactive. Fallout plumes from nuclear tests spread literally thousands of miles. So it makes you wonder if it's a coincidence that the U.S. has one of the highest cancer rates in the whole world. To this day, the government has taken no responsibility for exposing people to radiation from testing at the Trinity site. But our community was less than 45 miles away from the explosion. The truth is, New Mexico is a sacrifice zone, and it's mostly Mexican and Native American folks who are the sacrifice. The U.S. is spending $60 billion a year on nuclear weapons. Imagine if we put that money toward health care or education or renewable clean energy. We need to work together to create a livable planet for everybody. But that will only happen when we stop prioritizing destruction. We need to face the truth and start investing in a sustainable, fair future for us all.